you, you, you can, if you say we are going to cut our carbon emissions but we're not going to put up electricity prices, we're not going to have a tax, we're not going to have an ETS, it isn't going to cost anybody anything, that is, as um, Roscano said yesterday, delusional. Climate change is real, it is affecting us now and it is having a particularly severe impact on Australia. We have to put a price on carbon. We can do it by a carbon tax, if you like. The better approach is via a cap-and-trade emissions trading scheme. I think most people in Australia who write about this agree on that. But you cannot get away from the fact that there is a cost. Now, sometimes the task of responding to the challenge of climate change may seem too great, too daunting. It is a profound moral challenge because it is a cross-generational challenge. We are asking our own generation to make decisions, to make sacrifices, to make expenditures today so as to safeguard our children, their children and the generations that come after them. It truly requires us to think as a species, not just to think as individuals. Now you can look at the targets, a 50 per cent, the common sort of rubric rule of thumb is to cut emissions by 2050 to a level equal to 50 per cent or even lower uh, than they were in 1990 or, or 2000. I promise you, you cannot achieve that cut, you cannot achieve it, without getting to a point by mid-century where all or almost all of our stationary energy, that is to say energy from power stations and big factories and so forth, comes from zero emission sources. You sit, the, the mathematics simply will not get you there. Some people would say, I trust most would not, that as we have a vested interest in coal being burned, we should oppose action on climate change and rather like the tobacco companies who sought to discredit the connection between smoking and lung cancer, muddy the waters on climate science in order to prolong the export billions from coal mining. 